five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to the video. Today, I want to kind of give you a little bit of a tour on my desktop and what exactly I used to record. Now, I was going to do my LP today, but I ran out of time because I had stuff to do earlier and it's really late right now. I just want to get this video up. So first off, one thing I use is OBS. As you can see, this is my favorite part about it whenever you open it up like that. But anyways, what you can do is you can go ahead and go into your settings and I just want to show you all of my settings with this. By the way, OBS is completely free, and there will be a download link in the description. So I just want to give you a little bit of a heads up. So, this right here, your quality balance, if you check that, that basically just has to do with your quality. Max bitrate has to do with upload speed and stuff. Broadcast is for broadcasting, obviously. And this is where you can downscale. I like to down downscale to 720p because that's pretty much what people use the most. I mean, yeah. And then these are just some hot keys. I have a few set up for starting and stopping. And this is where it's like, so I could turn this to where it uses more CPU by going down or less. But then that has effect on the video quality. So like every now and then if y'all notice my video has little freezes and it skips to parts. That's unfortunately because I have to run it on very fast. I don't like running it any more than that. But yeah, that's basically it. So that's basically all the settings I have for OBS. Let's go ahead and move on to our next thing. We have Minimator. This is what I use to make my thumbnails. Now, I'm not going to show y'all too much because I made a video on this yesterday. So go check that video out. I just want to show y'all basically a little tiny thing that you can do with this. Alright, so you can like open projects. And basically, I haven't done anything. Look, you see you can get like 3D views of stuff. You can save screenshots. You can save movies, anything like that. That's basically the goal behind it. Like you can move your characters around and stuff like that it's really cool so check out my video on that but anyways we're just gonna move right on to our next thing alrighty so next up I have movie maker this is what I use to edit all my videos so basically with this it's very simple you can basically split your footage I just wanna show y'all uh, let's let's go to my new recordings this is I'll show y'all exactly how to how you can do stuff this is never before uploaded so yeah and it takes a while to configure. Before of the turbo kart racers. And then you can just like split the footage you need to edit split. And like let's say that you want to cut out a little part, or you can play the video. The parkour. Or wherever you so, want to cut out again, you sp you pause, you click split, and you can remove it. So watch, it's like a little jump cut. Before it's really of the cool. Turbo kart racers. Yeah, but you can do a few other things. Like you can add in music. You can control volume. Look, I can control the video volume with a slider right here. I can make things go in slow-mo watch so if you do this and you make it towards like 0.05 and you're like slow-mo speed run for the win it's actually very boring so I, I only use that for certain parts of videos <laughs> only very important parts as you've probably seen in my um, murder video that is really funny and yeah I've actually never used this before but yeah you can turn on or off that I don't really use the built-in thumbnail stuff for this, and also you can set if you want it not in widescreen. I prefer in widescreen, and your viewers are most likely if you do this. Now, this is for transitions. Like, if you're transitioning to that slide, I mean, it's kind of useful. I don't really use it. I used to, and I found that people did not like it, so yeah. And next, you can add in music. So, this is very useful if you want to, like, add in voiceovers or stuff. You can just click the file. but another thing I like to do with Movie Maker is you can file and whenever you go to save it you can save just the audio so you can record just your audio or like you can just record your screen then cut out the video have the audio and paste it onto another video that's how I do my voiceovers and I think it's really awesome and you can also add like you can add pictures to it so like we're gonna add my golden face and yeah as you can see and then you can come here, you can edit for how long it's on and stuff like that. That's how I do my, um, what are they called? Subscriber callouts. That's how I do my subscriber callouts. So, yeah, it's really cool, actually, because you can just add the voiceover and all that. And with these, you can just set an endpoint. So there's that. You can set an endpoint to these two, but I don't really use that because I normally just cut and paste. And video stabilization, I've never really, never really used that before, but I guess you could experiment with that. I've never really found a problem with any wobbly video, probably because I'm just recording my screen. But yeah, let's just go on and move to the next thing. 
So, my next thing I want to show y'all is kind of like how I have my file system for my for my recordings. So this is where my current recordings go. Like this is this is the video being recorded right now. It's kind of a paradox, but whatever. And then these videos right here are just kind of videos that didn't get sorted anywhere. It's like here, this is me working on a tiny video. This is like a subscriber special I was working on a while back. And then we passed up that goal way too fast, so thank you for that. And this is also part of that again. And here's my intro parts. This is all the stuff I used to make my intro. And here's my actual intro. So all I have to do is just paste it into the front of my videos using Movie Maker. And here's my thought, not thongs, songs that I use in my videos. They're like, I can do, like, I have my song credit that I need, and then these are all the songs. I'm not going to play it, though, because I don't feel like citing the song in the description. So, yeah. This is all the stuff I use for my thumbnails. I don't know why these face borders are in here, but they are for some reason. These I use in my subscriber callouts, as you'll probably see. And, yeah, there's that. And that leads me to my next thing. Windows Paint. This is what I use basically to do all of my frame editing stuff. I, uh, as y'all know, I probably I don't really do any animation, but like, you see, you can do stuff like this. You can save it. You can make like 30 frames per second. This is like stop motion animation if you're doing this. So yeah, but it's mainly just for image editing. So like, you see right here. Let's say, or this is probably a better example. No, all right. So this is a better example. Let's say that I need to resize this to be smaller. Well, what I do is I change that to pixels. And I change that to like 50. You see stuff like that. It's really cool. And then like you could select, you can right click, select all, stuff like that. Copy and paste. And it's just a really cool tool and it's it's free. So I mean, why not use it? And you can use stuff like brushes and everything. So like if we, oh gosh, okay, I messed that up. But oh well. Uh, if you're like brush. Yeah, you can brush around. So at the point, you know, don't save. Alrighty, so up next, I have my little outros that I do. So here's the outro music, as y'all heard a ton of times. And here's the outro pick. So basically what I do is I open this with paint. Open with paint. And what I do is I go and I find the video that... I find my previous video. So there's my animator. I go to 56. That would be... Or no. Like, I have my new video I'm making right now. So I take from this... And all I do is I would open this, open with paint, and then what you're gonna do is I'll just resize it, and I'll change this down to oh, not low enough, 420 pixels. And what I do is I'll not no, you select, select all, and we copy this, and we go, and boom, there we go, we got our outro for our next video. So that's actually gonna be the outro for this video, but that's not the point. So we save as. Now I'm going to go ahead and make our new folder here. As you can see, I have a number system. Every video, I just go one up. It sorts it evenly. It's really cool. So we're going to say 58 Tour is what we'll name it. And we open it up, and we save it in there. So bam, that's one part of it. Now I'm going to show you all my other part to making thumbnails. So like, let's say that after I already finished saving the thumbnail, what I do is I go to this website right here. It's called Backgrounder, and it's really useful. It's really useful for adding text and stuff. I made all my old backgrounds just solely using this in paint before I started using my animator. But yeah, then you just upload your image as your background. So what we're going to do is we're just going to select an image. We'll select this one for this just because it's an example. You can choose it to fill, basics, you to video frame. Or I just I used video frame, but you can really use whatever. Then you can add stuff like text. So what I do is I add like let's just say tacos you know something I like to go all caps because it just looks better and what I like to use is I like to use the freshman font I find it looks nice but even that doesn't look too nice what I do is I make it bigger and then my text board I turn that on and this is where it looks you see I like the 8 that's what I think makes it look good turning the thickness on to 8 and you can add in pictures and stuff too so like let's go select golden face so yeah, there we go. That's basically all there is to that. Then you just download your background and you're done. So yeah, that's basically all the software I use. And I'll go ahead and show you all my full thing here. So I didn't show you all in my movies folder. I kind of did. But basically what I do is just have it labeled. And this is an upcoming episode, so watch out for that. It's called Prison Escape. And this was a planned video. These are my videos that I just keep. Like, y'all y'all haven't seen this before. This is actually kind of funny. So we're going to... My name's Forrest. Forrest Gun. Hello. 
diarrhea pills. Yep. It's got to be Biggie. Always Biggie. <laughs> That's not the point anyways. So yeah, it's basically, it makes it really easy if I sort things like this. I can just find any video I need really quick or anything like that. I really like it. Also, you get to see the image on it. So it just helps a lot. But yeah, that's basically all there is to this video. So let me know if you want to see more tours to stuff I do, like on how I get things done and everything like that. I don't know if I really have anything else to show y'all. That's basically everything right there. It's very simple what I do. It just after the video, I just edit it and then I just drag it and drop it onto YouTube. But that's basically it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of crazy video. And yeah, let's shoot for 10 likes on this video because we're gonna start doing shooting for likes I guess because I don't even know we're awesome and y'all got 15 likes on my last video and I did and that's just awesome I was asking for 15 likes on the video before and y'all like nah bro you get 15 on this one which hey I don't have a problem with but anyways I think that's it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one